Hi folks, Phil here again. I've got an update video for you today. Uh, remember about six months ago I did a video in installing a kick sensor on my Toyota RAV4 Prime SE because that car doesn't come with one. Um, the XSE, the higher model, does, does have that as an option. Um, so I bought a kit from eBay and installed it. Everything worked, except I couldn't figure out how to get it to use the kick sensor to close the hatch after it was opened because the two switches that are on the hatch don't both operate all the time. The, there's an upper switch that you use to open it and that one only operates when it's closed and there's a switch on the bottom edge of the hatch and that one operates when the hatch is open and at first I tried this uh, transistorized circuit to try to make the, the trigger wire apply to the right uh, switch line but that didn't work it was a fail um, and then somebody in the comment section of the that of that video suggested trying a uh, mercury switch so I thought about it and I decided well you know I think that could work so I ordered some switches from uh, AliExpress and they finally arrived about a week ago and I got around to putting it together. Um, the physical appearance is actually quite ugly. You'll see in the video, the, uh, the t I put two mercury switches onto a steel L bracket and then mounted that into the uh, into inside of the door hatch or the trunk hatch. And everything worked according to the way I envisioned it. So I also created a schematic diagram of that setup and for those of you technical geeks out there that want to see it, uh, just message me or you know, contact me through the comment section and I'll figure out a way to get it to you. So anyway, let's get into the, uh, the how-to's of that modification. Okay, so this is the device that I created. It's got two Mercury tilt switches and I've epoxied them onto this steel L bracket and it's going to be mounted on the inside of the uh, hatch. Now the currently this is in the closed position and as the hatch opens it's going to tilt up this way and then you can see that the mercury has closed the switch on the left and opened the one on the right and as the hatch closes it's going to go back this way and now the one on the lower right is closed and the one on the low upper left is open and so these are going to be wired to my trigger line for the kick sensor such that that trigger is connected to the uh, appropriate switch because if you recall the upper switch only functions when the hatch is closed and the lower switch only functions when it's open okay so I've got the blue wire soldered on. Now I'm going to do the two white wires. And just take a little dab of solder, like so. Get the solder nicely wet in the joint. That takes care of that. So let me see if I can bring it up closer. This blue line is attached to both switches and each switch has a lead coming out of it which will go to the two switches in the hatch. So I attach that L bracket right there, right next to this uh, connector using two sheet metal screws. I just drilled two holes in it and screwed it in. I wrapped tape around the bracket itself to hold it steady and also I put shrink wrap on the two leads that go to the switches. So this blue one is attached to my trigger wire from the kick sensor device and this wire goes to the 
upper switch, which will open the hatch when it's closed. And this wire goes to the lower switch, and that's the one that will open, or I mean close the hatch when it's in the open position. And this Mercury switch device is working exactly as I had hoped. Success! Now I just close it back up. Of course, I'm going to zip tie these loose wires so that it's nice and secure, and then I'll put it all back together. So I finished the modification installation for the kit sensor, so now it'll open and close. So I finished the kick sensor modification. Um, it only took me about eight months. I think I installed my kick sensor um, back in January, and here we are in the middle of September. But anyway, it's done. Um, thanks to a comment by one of my viewers who suggested I try the Mercury switches. And I did just that, and it worked. I installed it, and makes me very happy. So anyway, that's it for today. If you like what I'm doing with these videos, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.